There are plenty of easy to get mounts in FF14 and as we are getting more and more gear, some fights that grant loot are actually becoming pretty doable as a solo or in pairs. In this video we are going over some easy to get mounts that you can either get or start working towards today, even if you play solo or with a friend or two. This guide does not include mounts from the Mog Station, MSQ, limited time events, expensive market board or vendor mounts, or any of the reputation grind mounts, only the random side tidbits you may or may not have known about. My name is Ivona from MomsDen.com and if this is your first time around here, subbing is a good idea. I make simple FF14 guides that'll answer some of your questions in no time and give you quick in-game wins. I also live stream on YouTube and Twitch quite a bit, so if you're a fan of awesome communities and game and other highlights, I'm sure I'll see you around. If you've never visited Jonathas in Old Gridania, you may not have the Behemoth, Magitek Deathclaw or Araman Mounts. All you need to do is visit him and purchase those three mounts in exchange for your achievement certificate points, six tokens each to be exact, so 18 overall. And if you've played the game at all, you probably have that much. Getting to level 30 is easy these days, and if you're a conjurer, you can get yourself a unicorn mount. After hitting level 30, you'll get a mount quest in the Conjurer's Guild in Old Gridania, but if you come after you've equipped the White Mage Soul Crystal, you won't be able to even see the quest, so make sure to take it out first before doing it. The quest is called Unicorn Power and is issued by Briya within the Guildhouse. Gilded armor may take a bit of time, but if you've been doing your duty roulettes and haven't been AFKing, you probably have some commendations. Once you get to 500, you'll receive the Gilded Armor mount as the reward from everybody's darling achievement, but you have to claim it within the achievement menu. Make sure to do that if you haven't claimed it yet and you have 500 comms or more. Magitek Sky Armor will cost you 20k wolf marks, which is the cap amount, and if you've been queuing into any front lines or crystalline conflict, you'll be able to easily get it within days or hours if you're persistent. All you need to do is cap the wolf marks one time and exchange them in the wolf's den pier at the mark quartermaster. When it comes to gold saucer, there are two mounts that are cheaper than the other ones in comparison. There's the pod 602, which is a new addition and costs 300k, and Adam and Taurus, which is 200k MGP. You can exchange your MGP at the Gold Saucer Attendant in the entrance square within the Prize Claim 3 menu. This can't be done within a day, but even if you do only like fashion reports for your 60k MGP a week, these two can be inexpensive additions to your mount roster that'll take a few weeks of minimal effort if you don't do any other Gold Saucer activities and such. If you'd like to, I have an MGP farming guide that you might find useful, so check it out in the pinned comment of this video. The mounts from A Realm Reborn Extreme Trials are probably quite familiar to you, so I won't waste too much of your time on it. But if you don't have all of them, you can unsync and completely solo them if you're max or even somewhat close to max level. You may not know that there's also Nightmare, an additional mount that has a rare chance of dropping at the Bull of Embers Extreme, the Naval Extreme or the Howling Eye Extreme, so it's a good idea to give those additional few spins when you're farming the higher drop rate ponies too. Heavensward Extreme mounts may be a bit tougher to solo, and they're easier with a friend, but you can definitely solo all of them and get that golden bird yourself. If you're struggling with it, check out some of the solo strategies and guides online. The reason why I'm not listing the Stormblood and Shadowbringers Extreme mounts here is because you definitely need more people for them, and you need to know what the wipe points are, so if you're after Dogos and Dragons, study up on them first. Alexander Savage mounts are solvable, but a lot easier if you've got at least one friend at max level helping you out, as there are some wipe mechanics you should be aware of. However, if you do know the strats, the mounts are guaranteed drops, and the fights last like 3 minutes each, so there's no reason not to get them. Oh, and by the way, only A4S and A12S drop mounts. The A8S loot is a minion, so don't bother spamming it like I did. That's pretty much all I could think of when it comes to easy to do or easy to solo mounts. There must be something I've left out, so let me know in the comments if you know another mount that's easy to get. And if you'd like to see more of my content, don't forget to sub. Massive thanks to everyone supporting the content, and especially our alphas like Kathy Spear on YouTube memberships, as well as Andyman, Space Cadet Rick, and Elijah Baker over on Patreon. If you'd like to join them and keep the content going, all the links are in the description of this video. Alright now, enjoy mount hunting, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye!